Alright, so we got a similar setup here. This is a little bit smaller. And here we have this, this broken capsule here. So, a little bit of a hit history lesson here. They're originally meant to be four X Hunter members here. And it said there were only three. The fourth one was just going to be a female with scrap because, uh, once again, hardware limitations. So, first we have whatever violence final form is meant to be, and then we have the fourth member. And. It wasn't until, I believe, X-Dive where we actually see what the fourth member may have looked like via that dark armor um, looking X. Hey, that's a rhythm. Yep. That's why I love the bubble slash. Similar to the rolling shield. Except this one drains health. Or the ammo. Yep. So here's an advantage that X1 has over this one. Uh, as X was working his way to Sigma, uh, he fought the other Mavericks as he went here. It's like a similar setup to the classics. Even the first Mega Man game had a similar setup, but then after that. Uh oh. Hold on, I'm trying to get the. Oh no, you don't. There you are. Oh. Oh, what am I thinking? Nah. Whoops. There it is. So yeah, similar to the first game, um, as Mega Man was making his way to Wily, uh, the Royal Masters that he fought along the way were Cut Man and Lake Man, but the last four, Guts Man, Fireman, Ice Man, and, uh oh, and, uh, oh boy, and, uh, Bomb Man, um, those were part of the final stretches too, Wily, so they were just back to back to back to back. All in one room. Not like you fight one and then you advance a little bit in the fortress. No, it was literally just up an elevator. So X1, I would say, has the most interesting setup of handling the, the second fights. Whereas to here is just one by one. And this will be the setup that all of the games go through. So it's honestly is a bit of a bummer. Because it was very interesting how you would go through each of the Mavericks as X progressed. So here, I like to say that this is a stopping point, but at least it gives you the choice. And also some help drops here and there to choose which one you want to fight. Okay, I don't know why. Uh oh. Oh, I like this. Yeah, not gonna matter the show is uh Uh oh. Yep. And the show is intact.
So yeah, just... Yep, pick your poison, get health as you go. This one actually has spice on the ceiling. I might not recommend Shuriken for this. In fact, I don't think it's possible to uh, trick him into, yeah, doing this. So now the jumps get a little bit more daring. This one, out of all of them, this one gets spikes. Like, that's. Eh, I'm not a huge. I mean, I'm pretty sure no one's been a spikes, anyways, but like that. Eef. Okay, I like this, though. There's a desert inside the fortress. made his power. Yep, get these, and then, yep. Onward. Okay, this kind of freaked me out when I first saw that. Why are sponge getting sliced in half? Oh man, like, I don't think I've ever used to that. That is until the Zero series where... Slicing Mavericks in half? Quite thrilling. In fact, it's, it's recommended. It's hard to get a pattern down. Uh oh! Oh! No! Ah! Hmm. Yeah, if I can just get it down. I don't know where is he. There he is! There you are! Oh no! Okay, yeah, now he's resorting to this. Come on! There it is. There it is. Ah, oh, no! Oh, come on! Mm.
Ah, almost. Oh, God. Like, it's such a waiting game. I'm just gonna wait up here. Oh, no. There you are. It's like a horror film. When the creature just comes out of nowhere and just eats a man whole. Like those shark movies. Or anaconda. Ugh. No, not that one. Actually, one thing I never actually talked on briefly. This one is growing in size as it goes. Oh man, I love the speed burner. Oh man, I love the speed burner. 